Hey all you gamers, if you'd like to find out where to find the unique item, the Frostbite Armour, stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls. So if you have a little look here, this is quite a unique item. It spawns a snowball that pretty much hits the enemies and uh, dazes them as such. Um, I believe it only hits one enemy at a time and it takes a few seconds in between it because I think the one that comes on the armour is the lowest version. So I'd imagine it's every, I want to say, five seconds. Um, and if you have a little look here, it's got 100% souls gathered, so it's really good for a souls build. 30% range damage, really good for all you people that like using the harp crossbow or any really nice bow. And spawns a snowy companion. And that's pretty much the main thing that you would have this armor for, the uh, snowy companion. That's really, really good thing to have. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you all the places you can get. So it's a, it's a part of the phantom armor. So if you have a little look here, the phantom armor drops in the redstone mines. So you can get the variant of it there. Another place is the soggy cave. And nine times out of ten... If something drops in a soggy cave, because of how easy it is, I say do it there. This time, I'm going to mix it up a bit. And I would say, try the creepy crypt. And I'm going to show you why. So here we are in the creepy crypt. And I would say, basically, chuck your map up. And make your way towards the outskirts as such. Uh, try and chuck on a speed build. And that way you can just run past all of the uh, creepers that would usually blow you up and they'll explode behind you oh, he says as he almost dies So what you want to basically do, run towards, if you're lucky, sometimes there'll be an obsidian chest that spawns and you can find that in one of the one of the little rooms, it kind of has a little lever, click on that and you get an obsidian chest. I don't think that's there every time, but other than that what you want to do is just run around the map, find all the end locations. And basically search for all of the chests. Like I said, try and use your speed builds, which I'm not using because I've been stupid. So we'll have one here. As soon as we do this little event. And basically run around the map, do all the little events, do all the chests, and hopefully you find some nice drops. And hopefully you find the, uh, the armor you're after. I'll clear this one quick just to show you. Right, so there's the drop, and... <laughs> it's just teasing us there. Right, so that's the normal version. We could have had the uh, Frostbite version, but the game didn't want to be nice. Right, guys and girls, I'm going to jump back to camp then. Right, here we are back at camp, and hopefully that's helped you out a little bit. Like I said, just put your fastest gear on. Uh, probably your best bet would be to put on your... Wherever it is. Ah, there it is. Uh, your ghost cloak and your speed boots. That way you'll be able to pass through everything. And just run around the creepy crypt and try and open up all the chests and do the little events and get as many chests as possible. I think you can get about four or five in there. So as long as you're running it fast, that is your best place to try and get this drop. Hope that's helped some of you out. Uh, as always, for all things Xbox, hit that subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications, and I'll be bringing you all the latest and greatest stuff on Xbox, and some more Minecraft dungeon stuff, especially when the DLC comes out. As always, guys and girls, take care, and see you all on the next day.